Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you guys are here. I want to start off real quick by saying thank you to all the channel members. I appreciate you all so much. And thank you to anybody who's coming here to watch my knife, my EDC, my disassembly content. I appreciate you all. And if you're so inclined and haven't had a chance yet, if you'll hit that bell notification, or excuse me, that subscribe button, then the bell notification icon, that would really help me out. So today, guys, what I'm going to attempt to do is take my MASH V2 and put some skiffs in it. So I think these are the right size skiffs, but I've got my little skiff blades cheat sheet here just in case. And then I'm going to be using my Get Good Screw driver and a T8 bit. And I'm going to take it apart, guys. And I'm going to hope that I don't have to go back and add a struggle bus to the thumbnail. That's the goal. So I hope everybody's been having a fantastic weekend. And I had a great time. I'm recording this on Saturday night. I enjoyed hanging with you guys during Friday night flicks. Hey, those of you who are there, um, those of you who weren't, I do that every Friday night. Hang out with a couple of people. People change from time to time. Different folks come in. Um, I missed the screw, guys, and it's just a, a hang, and then I do random lives every other Saturday, I do Off the Edge over on Lefty's channel, and then some nights, like maybe tonight or early in the morning, I'll just randomly go live. All right, guys, so what we have here are some barongs, interesting inset liner lock. Let's see what we got here, uh, 30 sixteenths, they are 1 sixteenths, what I thought. I bet they're five millimeter which they are, and you guys saw how I did that by taking my pivot and finding out which of these round holes it corresponds with, and then finding out which one of these slots will give me the height. So it tells me it's a five millimeter pivot with a 1 16th. And the skiffs that I have out are five millimeter 1 16th 11 ball. So the first thing I notice when I do a skiff upgrade is I go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to 11 balls, which doesn't seem like much, but it's giving you more contact area and just, to me, a broader base, right? And then, um, more importantly, you're dealing with a solid phosphorus bronze track. If you look here, you'll notice on one side it's stamped. Well, it's stamped, so you've got one side that's like a little contained track, and the other side the ceramic bearings stick through. And you guys saw the action. These bearings are fine. I always like to put skiffs in my knives because I think it's for 12 bucks on a nicer knife. To me, it makes a difference. I always keep my original bearings. So let's take our... Uh, blade out all right now you'll notice that we have all right so I have not really used this knife enough to wear a track into those 
washers that are inset into that titanium. So I am just going to be lazy and I'm going to take my KPL original. I'm going to get a little bit of my KPL heavy. Be up. Thanks to Brother Joe Isabella making me that. And Brother Jason Brown for making it mean something more than you know. So just drop a little KPL in there. Then I am going to condition. Well, I do it is I'll put a little on my fingers. And you really don't need that much oil because the ceramics self lubricating. I'm kind of Captain Overkill, right? I do. See how nicely that fits down in there. All right, let's see if I can get this. To go back down. Let's do this. Whoops. Whoopsie. Let's do this. There we go. All right. I'm going to take me a little drop of this. Original. Chiz that up a little bit. Then I am going to chiz up my skiff with some of this oil. Kind of work it in there. Drop it down there. Then I'm going to take my KPL Heavy. And I'm going to put a glob in my detent track and where it's starting to wear right there and now guys we will see if we add a bus on fire to our thumbnail Whoops. All right, guys, I've got to get my two pins lined up so it'll snap it together. And that's what right now I'm trying not to get my captive pivot out of sorts. It's kind of being a bitch. Let's see. Let's do this. I probably didn't need to take that clip off. I ordered some pivot collars. Let's see. Usually you can tighten these all the way down with skiffs.
Good nuts. Duh. And guys, I'm a fan of the wire clips. I used to always order lynches for my early Spydercos. Um, but I guess as I've gotten older, I realize that these clips work very well in my pocket. Let's see what we got here. Get it tightened down in there. And guys, I have another mash that I was able to snag during the drop. V2.5, because it's such a good knife. In my opinion. In my humble opinion. So now, we have freshly oiled skiffs in our mash 2.5. And I don't have to put a struggle bus on the uh, on the thumbnail. No side to side, no up and down. Drop shut, bang. So see, then what I'll do is I will take my little titanium pin, my little sharpie, and I'll write bronze. Mash 2.5. So if this knife ever goes anywhere or I ever need the bearings, I never will. I've got a shitload of bearings from where I've replaced them. But yeah, guys, skiff bearings. I'm a big fan. KPL. I've become a fan. I think they, because um, to me, oil is oil. I think if you go to KPL, um, I should have a code there. I'd be interested if I do. I need to check that. But Javon 10 should save you a little bit of cash at KPL on their stuff. And I know Javon 10 will save you 10% on skiffs, whether you get a um, cheat sheet or a little finger driver. They got all kinds of stuff over there. And then they got the bearing compatibility chart, which instead of putting a link to the bearings, I will put a link to Skiff Workshop's homepage. I will also put a link in the description to the bearing compatibility chart where I go if you don't have a um, cheat sheet and you want to see where somebody's used the bearings. I mean, I've had a couple of knives that didn't work out like the bearing um, compatibility chart says that they would, but 90% of them will. And you'll see that I'm dealing with the uh, downside of too much lubrication. But yeah, guys, the Devo Mash 2.5, I don't know if you can see that edge shining, but I... Uh, Put it on the TS Prof just to see how the 154 felt as opposed to the 14 C. And I can tell you, you guys are going to like it. It is slashy. It sharpens very well, burrs up nicely, um, strops because it's a hollow grind. If you keep it maintained, you can keep it sharp with a strop. Um, just really well done knife. Ooh, I almost got my finger there. That would have been the second time that I added blood to the tracks. To quote Rolling Stones. Or Bob Dylan, excuse me. That was blasphemy. But yeah, now that I'm using my B-Up, I've just got a couple of, uh, my B-Up mat under this, over there. I've just got a couple of ferro rod burns. I don't think I've added my, uh, my clumsy DNA to not freak YouTube out, but my clumsy DMA DNA to the mat yet. But I'm sure at some point it will be christened. Um, you know, it happens when you flip knives, when you maintain knives, when you shear knives, when you, you know, do. 
I try to be safe always, safety first, right? Um, but there's also the law of averages. So I might not use my knives as hard as a lot of people, but I bet I open a lot of knives. And I bet I carry a lot of knives and feel a lot of knives, um, which, unfortunately, when you're clumsy like me, expose me to little, little areas of, not love, but cuts. So, yeah, guys, I appreciate you all. I'm always grateful that anybody watches my content. I know the disassembly videos might not be that entertaining. Hopefully, they're informative show you how knives the knives come apart um and in, mainly to give you the confidence that if i can take a knife apart and put it back together you can definitely take a knife apart and put it back together guys thank you for taking the time thank you for the support please look out for the guy or gal to your left please look out for that guy or gal to your right please look out for each other and go forward with love in your heart and always choose debate not hate i love you all be up peace